Okay. So... Let's see if I can spot everyone. What's on? Oh, that's his arm thing. Alright. So there's a chick back there. A guy up there. Two people above us. Very, very interesting. If I bend time... ...and find out the location of everyone, that should be good. slight dilemma, and that is the black market guy might have overheard us knocking out this person, or maybe they saw me bend time and are like, what the fuck, no, that's impossible. And that might be bad. Okay, if we assume there's only four people, which is a dangerous assumption to make, then we knocked out everybody. Bend time upgrade is really fantastic, man. Oh, this must be the, um... Uh, the hidden area. I'll check in there in a second. So let me just make sure no one is... Okay. Dead or anything like that. Anybody want to ambush me? At all? Woe is me coming into this area with so much money in my pocket. Oh, it'd be such a shame if somebody jumped from the rooftop onto my position and took my money! Oh, I guess this must be Petronilla. Well, I've already been through your place, so I don't even need your key. I can burn some shit. Bosses beware! When we're screwed, we multiply! I, mean, I don't know if that's like a... Like an inappropriate joke. <laughs> when we get screwed, we multiply. Whoa. Obviously, it's just like a threat. Yeah, you better watch out. If you fuck us over, there'll just be more later on. But why didn't you just have more before that happened, you know? Please take a look around. I'm clearing the stock and leaving the city. Very good. Okay. The prices reflect the exquisite qu- Come back soon, if I'm still around. I like how every single person that we've saw- <laughs> that we've talked to has been like that. Come back soon, if I'm still here, I guess. Okay. Ooh, the Outsider's Shrine is back here. What's going on with this back area? Oh, I could have jumped up here to go around, rather than going all the way through the apartment. Ah. Should've looked up a little bit more. Oh well. What kind of things do we get inside? Old Charm Carver's writings. Tenth of Rain. I found a sailor dead in the street. Dragged her to an alley to check her for loot. Don't know what killed her, but it wasn't thieves since her pockets was full of coin and other things. The best was two nice pieces of whalebone. I made sure I soaked them good in her blood, just like my me my mother showed me when I had the, uh, when she had the black bone charm before me. Twelfth of rain, I took out the black charm and strung it around my neck, hanging between my my paps. Started carving on one of the uh, uh, carving on one of them whale bones from the sailor, and it's eager for work, too eager. So I speak to it, calm it. You got to be patient, I say. Once that whalebone was still, I carved a curse round one side, then a sweet tempter on the other. Took me a good long time, too. It's my mother's black bone charm that makes it all work. Got warm to the touch and, made, and started to sing while I was working. This new bit of whalebone is sure special, strong. Fetch a good price from a street boss, a smuggler. Fifteenth of rain. My little charm is gone. It'll make a gambler drunk with luck. Walk away a winner every time. Though each night spent at the tables, the price is paid. Eyes going milky bit by bit, till they're all boiled up like eggs. Ugh. 
So maybe you shouldn't use that? Although I guess you could use that in that literal scenario. Right? You give it to a person, they gamble away, and then when they're fucking blind, you rob them again. Uh, excerpt from the diary of a known heretic seized before his execution. For most, the outside is nothing but a child's tale meant to instill fear of that beyond the family, the community. When I was young, my mother and I were on the run, moving from one village or sea town to the next, camping in the woods for weeks, always with the cursed overseers at our backs. At night, she told me of her dreams of the empty place where the outsider whispered to her. With each visit, her craft grew, until she could see through the eyes of moths and unlock a door or window latch from outside a house. I will find this empty place. Somehow the key to open the void will fall into my hands. In time, I will learn the secret, and he will call to me as he called to her. Call me a heretic for my studies. Drag me to your cold stone cell. Whip my flesh and put me on trial as an apostate. Burn my body to ash. But I will continue to seek the realm of which my mother spoke. It is my life's meaning. So... Did the guy who lived here just have a diary of that person? Or was that the diary of the person who lived here? Convenient, or like conveniently placed on the table. You're back at the heart of your homeland. A bigger, better palace than the one you sailed away from so long ago. Feeling nostalgic? Will you ever be comfortable in Dunwall again? Assuming you make it back? You've seen the suffering here, the decay, but, dear Corvo, would you even have lifted a finger if the Duke hadn't put Emily in harm's way? Be honest now. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. Well, just make it more obvious, huh? <laughs> you have like three different things going. You're gonna have to leave her behind. Oh no! Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. She doesn't even say anything new. She hasn't said anything new for like five missions for the world. I mean, she says stuff about people. Like, what about this guy? And then he kills them brutally because why would anyone be nice in this city? <laughs> You're either like so goddamn nice you help out like orphans and just like lost puppies and kittens. Or you murder everyone. See? This guy's... I mean, maybe that's not so much nice, but he, he's got a good heart. She once shot another howler and left him to bleed in the street so she could escape the Grand Guard. At this point, it's just funny. <laughs> the dichotomy between all the fucking people. Alright, what's going on here? Note from Petronilla. Allison, I'm taking some hagfish broth to my cousin who's been coughing badly for two days. You need to spend the night here, you already have your own key, and you know you're always welcome. Please be a dear and don't put your muddy boots on the bed. I'll be back tomorrow morning with some pastries. Petronilla with her spoon. Okay, so that's probably not, uh, Petronilla. That's probably just, like, her friend. Who may or may not have even gone inside. It's hard to tell. Absolutely sure there's nothing else in here. Just some plantains. What about other apartments? Can I go down below? Or is there only one apartment that's ever accessible? I think that's the case. Whoops. That's fine. Okay. We'll just keep on exploring, uh... The general alleys, I don't want to be over here. We're going back up. I wish to slink in the darkness. Or at least try to, and then sometimes get spotted. 
Although, man, with Ben time, we're gonna be fucking with the guards so much. Knock out two guys just with chokeholds, then, like, send three sleeping darts the way of other people, or put a stun mine in between them. Ugh. Okay, so that's the same house, right? Ah, here we go. Whoa! Dead person? Two dead people! Just right here in the dump. You're not even gonna close it? Oh, there is no fucking thing to close it with. Ah! God! Damn! Ow! Ow, I'll keep that. It didn't attract any attention. Just spooked me. Because I wasn't expecting that. Fucking hell. First trap in this area. Okay. Where's the nearest thing for me? It's the rune right there. Okay. Well, I can always break inside. And hope there's no one in here. I think I spotted someone suspicious. I don't know if there was two people in that room or what. I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check twice just in case. I'm hoping this will work. Game cannot be saved. Okay, there. is too cold. I just don't want to go somewhere where it's really inconvenient. I like being warm. I guess me too. But sometimes, just get a nice blanket. You know, in terms of weather, I always prefer, I guess, cold versus just, like, ridiculously hot. And I say that as someone who lives in Texas. Uh, okay, apparently they killed a guy here. Ugh, always, right? This whole setup is a huge pain in the ass. Timing windows that ignore the tides, fake boat manifests, and private door codes. Might be easier just to play it straight, pick up and deliver goods. Anyway, so I don't forget it. The code for the black market shop is Sir Conan Wine is better than Tivian Prisons. Idiots. <laughs> okay. Well, we know how we're gonna get into the black market now. Sir Conan wine is better than Tivian poisons. Oh. That's the life. How the fuck am I gonna get in here? Oh great, there's a sleeper. This is the kind of luck I have. Well, at least I have sleep darts, and there's even more replaceable ones at the bottom. Oh shit. I should have signed on as an engineer in the wind corridor. Ha! I should have been a guard, gosh. Come on, come Why is there a wall of light protecting the palace anyway? Who's going to attack a man like the Duke? Well, probably everyone, let's be honest. He's kind of an asshole. Now, oh, well, what did I. Uh... They were just so close, of course I'm gonna do that. There's the windmill, I can shut that off and like piss off everyone. Or I could just go on the rails, because I turned those off too. So many options! Exclamation mark! Why is there an exclamation mark on here? Someone just felt like declaring how excited they were to the world! Ooh! Maybe they're in a really good mood, you know? You get good news of any kind, and you're just like, oh, I love life so much, just let me paint an exclamation mark on the wall. 
Alright, so does this... Is there a way for me to drop down into the spooky house? With all the flies of death? Yep, right over here. Yeah, man, it's intense. She loves you so whoops much. You see nothing, friend? That's so fucking scary. Okay, I can't get in here, but this might be a way to like shoot him. <laughs> Barely. Maybe. We'll see. You know how this fucking is. Aha! Maybe over here? Okay. I have plenty of health things. I don't need to waste some rare bolts and accidentally kill the other guy. I'm so glad you hit, you hit a rune right underneath your table. Okay, you know what? With that rune, I mean with some of the other runes, uh, I can go ahead and grab the rapid sprint. Oops. Yes! And then that's really it! I can do catfall, risk higher falls, as upgrade you'll take less damage. That wouldn't be so bad because I do sometimes take a good bit of fall damage, but otherwise, eh. Next thing we can build ourselves up to is maybe possession. You know, if I ever want to, like, make a guy walk away from all of his friends and knock him out that way. But I think I've seen that the enemies can kind of really suspect someone just walking away from their guard post. So, yeah, even that's a little, a little wary. Okay. So if I just leave the nest guy here, you know, just in general for all the other nest keepers. Stay in the wall. But you won't get away from me. At some point, your wing will slip up and I'll murder you. Fine, you know what? I'll leave it be. Whatever. Anyways, wouldn't he just like be able to explode into another nest? Like if if these things couldn't do anything? I don't know the entire reproductive cycle of the blood flies. I just know that they infest something, someone, and then they burst out of them. And, but for these guys, they're not, they're, they didn't die and burst open or any kind of thing like that. So, uh, whoa. Letter from an admirer of Down. What? The knife of Dunwall. What? Is this a guy who likes Tao? Dear Alfred, I received the book, a good find, but I must admit that I have my doubts regarding the historical value of the work, The Knife of Dunwall. Feeling remorse about killing the tyrant Jessamine? As I write, I'm staring at his portrait, and I suspect that Dowd always knew destiny was guiding his hand, firm and unforgiving. Anyway, the book was an entertaining read, so thank you again. Keep sending me all the information you can about this mysterious figure we both admire. Your friend, Claudio. Okay, so he does- this is just him reading up on things. Dowd in the parabola of lost seasons. Dowd was a cool guy, he had some cool abilities, some of which that I have now. You know, this whole ability to freeze time while blinking. <laughs> It's a nice advancement of things. Alright. Uh, Dowd stared at the blade. The plan had gone perfectly, even better than he could have hoped. In fact, the whole thing had been too easy. But now that it was over, he felt hollow. And there was nothing in the world that could fill him again. He knew it was with, uh, it was with a certainty that scared him. Billy called from the next room. Boss? Leave me. He nudged the door closed before she could say anything else. He trusted her more than any of them, but he didn't feel like talking. Cleaning the blood from the blade, he studied the marks it made on the cloth. Royal blood. But it looked the same as any he'd seen before. Weren't the high and mighty supposed to be filled with something different, something better? Dowd was tired. No amount of blood could change the way he felt. 
He didn't drink as a general rule, and sex ne had never interested him. He felt a kind of exhaustion that couldn't be soothed away. A smile crept across his mouth. The knife of Dunwall, exhausted, and yet something else. What was he feeling, exactly? He'd, feel, he'd looked into Jessamine Caldwin's eyes at the moment her life slipped away, and in that moment a thought occurred to him. He'd made a mistake. He'd been misled. That kind of thinking was useless. She was just as dead, whether he regretted it or not. But he'd seen his true face reflected in her eyes, seen himself for what he really was. Not a renowned assassin, not some great shaper of history, just another playing piece in an unknowable game. You know, he did feel pretty bad about things, to the point that he just wanted to like leave the life when given the chance. So he had that going for him. Also, Billy! Billy, that's, that's Megan. <laughs> that is Megan. At least from what I remember reading. Sometimes it can be hard to remember. Okay, so we got everyone here. We got a couple of bone charms along the way. I think we can make our way over there. I want to check out more of this building, but for now, I'm going to take this out. Come on, jump up! No, not like that. Here, okay. So I should be able to make the jump! <laughs> With my upgraded everything. Hello, Bone Charm. What do you have in you? Spirited. Anything that talks about spirits is usually about mana. Elixirs restore slightly more mana. Yep, there you go. That took the almost the entire game again. Holy crap. We got the one that, that let makes health elixirs restore a little bit more, like, uber early on in the game. What is this? Get the clankers off Karnakis streets. Beware a strange sound, like the clanking of a factory machine. You might be seconds from an encounter with the latest work of Grin uh, Grand Inventor Kieran Jindosh. I've read that one. I like how it's a book, by the way. Like, every time they want to do a news thing, they make an entire book. Uh-huh. Uh, note to Lucia Pastor's mother. Mother, please don't be angry and hear me out. I know it's you who's been coming to my apartment, apartment, apartment to straighten up. I'm sure you mean well, but please stop. Anyway, I've made up my mind to move to the Dust District. That way I can be closer to those I'm helping. For other reasons, too, that I won't mention now because of how it might upset you. Anyway, it's unlikely I'll ever return to the Palace District. I'll have someone sell my apartment here along with the furniture. I know this isn't what you wanted for me, but it's who I am. And don't waste any more of your time matchmaking. I do not wish to marry. None of this is meant to make you feel badly. Please try to understand. All my love, Lucia. Oh yeah, you know what? We fucking met Lucia. And then nothing really came of it. I was expecting to have like a little mission with her before leaving the area. But we just kind of left. And I don't know if that was my own fault or if that was just legitimately it. You're just supposed to talk to her and then leave. Oh, that's a time break. I thought it was going to be an audiograph. Ugh. Holy shit, these are huge trees. I didn't even notice this before. Uh-huh. <gasps> so many guards are in this general region. We know there's three below us. Yeah, fourth one there, fifth one over there. There's gotta be a sixth one, yep. On that side. So there might be about seven or eight more guards in this area. I don't really need to knock all of them out. I'm just trying to know what I'm dealing with because I still have a little bit more to explore. I have to go back and try out the black market code. Circonus wine is better than Tivian poison. I'd love to just mumble something wrong. Uh, Dunwall beer is the best all year. <laughs> Chloroform bottle. The easy way to knock everyone out. Hey! I gotta get a spare uniform. Alright, how many people are in here? Yep, three. Mmm. The whole family stunned to death. Ugh, so I don't even like to hear them talk. Blood fly nests They're all around lower class. Poor reason. Low, lower, lowest. And the smell.
Okay. So we're gonna need to knock out everyone. Which should be pretty easy, honestly. You just fucking sleeping dart, sleeping dart, sleeping dart, and then walk away. <laughs> and then we just hope that no one got knocked out like a half second too early and that's a body spotted. I mean, I'm probably gonna end up having multiple bodies spotted, but ugh, it's always annoying. Okay, so what happened here? Pay what you owe. Is this gonna say something? Blood of the Abel House. This chapter focuses on Edithia Bell. Have we read this before? Yes, we have. Okay, this might be the, um... The house that belongs to the safe guy. I'm not entirely sure, though. We'll, we'll have to find out. Okay, no other apartment for me to check out over there. I'm not seeing his patrol pattern. Can you just chat with her because she's about to be gone? No? Alright. There he goes. <laughs> you can join everybody else up top. Damn it, okay. So we just took out a, a hidden guard. Sort of hidden guard. We didn't know she was here beforehand. Where did you go? I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. Um, you didn't see anything. <laughs> You know, I feel like knocking a person out by choking them is probably one of the better ways to ensure that when they wake up, they know they were, you know, put out by someone. So technically, wouldn't that be getting spotted? They just wouldn't see you, but they would know you're there. Someone had to choke cold them in the middle of an alley, right? Guess it just mat er, matters, uh, what you really care for. Did they see me as I went in? Oh. Or something else. Okay, is there a third guard up there? I'm gonna- I'm gonna go up top. It's safer up there. It'll also give me just a general viewpoint. Okay, so we have two guards over to the left. Uh, oh, that's a civilian. Ah, oh, shit. Civilians. Scrounging through the trash, huh? Okay, so I think there's actually- that's a new guy I didn't see beforehand. So there's four guards at least. The guy checking out that area, one guy there, and then two on this side. Maybe one in between, making it five, we'll have to see. But first, I'm gonna go to the black market. Because not only do I have things to buy, I have things to steal. Zirconan wine is better than Tivian prisons. And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. All right. Oh, I thought it was poison, not prison. Huh. <clears throat> Hey, how you doing? No, Wait! No, no. I had the password! What's going on? I had the password! You can't just leave! I had the password! What the fuck? That is just incredibly rude. But fine. Understandable. 
technically I'm breaking in. I'm not one of the people who's supposed to be in there. But he, oh, he verbally acknowledged it. Then was like, oh, please don't rob me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go around. Um, I don't want to steal too much from him, honestly. I don't know what's in there that... Conan wine is better than take. Tivian prisons. And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. All right. I wonder if we'll have a visit from the new Empress Delilah. Kanaka could be her summer residence. Okay, a little bit of extra dosh. So, is that it? Black market shop key, so I can go out the front door. Prices reflect the exquisite quality of the items offered. Huh. He doesn't really have that much for, for someone who required like a password to get inside of his shop. He really didn't have much for me to take. And we closed the door. You know, usually you have like a hundred, two hundred fifty... ...or something standing by. That was just like the, the pretty standing like twenty or thirty. On the shopkeepers don't stand a chance in the city. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, come in. Too damn rich. I could probably legitimately buy all the upgrades this for the is pistol. What I have for upgrading your equipment. And I would still have just a ridiculous amount of money. So I could just see what the determined traveler would be like. You know? Or I could Perhaps be reasonable. I should close the shop until the and dust save settles. and do that. <laughs> okay. I'm just very curious, uh, viewers. You want blueprints for better weaponry. The Determined Traveler. Magnetized bullets. Armored bullets. So is this just like both? So both, so now they're armored and magnetized? Or are those individual things that I can grab? <coughs> Still two fucking things we haven't found yet. Ah, oh, blueprints! I gotta be aware of that. Let's find out. So... Yep, there's no, like, individual bullets I buy. These are just slightly better. Pistol ammunition! Loud! Come back soon, if I'm still around. Okay. So... We swap over to here. And now it's got a scope. Ooh, it's even got like its own dedicated crosshair for it, rather than just using the spyglass. Nice, and so now I can just be like this. Holy crap! I hit two people at once! Hello, friends! Helmets are really, really fucking hardy, considering this. Ooh! Damn. Holy shit! Dude, you could probably get some ridiculous shit done by reflecting off of metal. I think that's the point. Like, you just come around the corner and you go, I want to see what happens if I reflect a bullet into their head. Pew. Cool. Oh, there's two more sitting inside this building. I was hoping to freeze time before he did that. Here, have a... Incendiary bolt to the face. What? Same with you. I could've sworn I knocked out everyone over here. They could just spawn guards in whenever the alarm goes off. That That's a good possibility. They also could've woken up the guards. In the area? Because I don't see any of the guys we knocked out just laying around. Okay. Now we reload. That was interesting. Um, hmm. If this were a lethal playthrough, that would be fun. Because suddenly your gun's just like... Un like really accurate. It's as accurate as the crossbow. 
But we do not need it. We do not need it. We do not wish to kill. Just disable. Or go around. Although mostly disable. I like disable. I like knocking out the people. Makes me feel a little bit more secure about exploring and being able to check every tiny nook and cranny. You know? Alright, 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 alright. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, oof. Damn it! I was looking for this chick! I was looking for the second chick, I was looking at the rubble that I saw her scrounging through, but she was around the corner from it. I want to knock out everyone here! And the fastest way I could do it without just sitting there, sitting there like, Oh, where is every single person? And taking them out one by one is bedtime! Knock them out together. 